Okay, we talked a little bit about porn and about trying to understand what it tells you about men. And we also talked a little bit about uh, dating and meetup science because it's going to tell you a little bit about women. All right. Now again, let's watch over generalizations, but these are places in which we re find reflected in our culture certain impulses of the human nature. Right? We're also talking about how thought becomes speech, becomes deeds, become character, become destiny. Okay, and this is a process over the course of life. And we're also talking about couples in a relationship or people in a dating relationship where they haven't quite got to where they can do confession. But the whole process of a dating relationship involves ultimately confession and also contrition for the stupid things you did at the beginning. Okay, If you want to have an intimate relationship, then the ideas of confession and contrition are, are going to be the core of it. And if you want to have an ongoing couple relationship that works, you need to do this on a daily basis as much as you can. Or the thing that you do when you go to bed at night um, has these qualities in it. Okay, so what are we saying here? Well, we're saying some different things. In my book, The Way of the Fool, for example, I talk about from a sociological perspective in the sense of the evolution of consciousness, which is an interesting topic in and of itself. Consciousness evolves. But anyway, what what did I talk about? I said that the tendency, as the mother forces are enabled to manifest through human beings. They don't come from the outside. Human beings have to manifest them, and men and women can manifest mother forces. What's going to happen is that the home can transform into a temple of love, and the bedroom can transform into a temple of eros, within the temple of love. So there we are, in the temple of love, and in the most intimate place in the temple of love, in the Temple of Eros when we go to bed together and talk. And while well, women will tend to call it sharing, I think the most apt expression is confession. We have to say truthful things and we have to build a kind of companionship or friendship in the relationship in which people can Admit to things and not be judged. Uh, this is hard work, okay? I'm not saying it's easy work. But if people are going to share and confess to each other about different kinds of things, the person hearing this becomes, in a way, a kind of priest. Remember I called temple. Temple of Eros and the temple of love. Okay, the redemption of Eros. What goes on in the bedroom is the redemption of that aspect of love, which we call Eros, which is extraordinarily powerful. I mean, it's not sex and fucking, okay? It's something much more profound. And one of the profound elements of it is this sharing or confession. Uh, there's a book called uh, Meditations in Action, A Journey into Christian Hermeticism by a guy by the name of Valentin Tomberg. Uh, meditations in Tarot, excuse me. And so now the Tarot is a is a book of wisdom in symbols. And the symbol that's mostly about the mother in this text is called Force, and it's the eleventh arcanum. And it's a picture of a woman holding open the jaws of a lion. Now she's not doing this through power in the sense that she's overpowering the lion. Her psychology or spirit functions as a kind of emollient, as a kind of something that eases away friction, lessens friction, and involves identification. And so she identifies with the being of the lion. And by this identification and by this activity which is meant to be frictionless, the lion is tamed out of his own nature because he has a nature 
which can be tamed. So we get into the temple of love, and it's the bedroom inside. The, we get into the temple of the love, which is the home, and into the temple of Eros in the bedroom. And we practice contrition and confession at night. And we do this with the understanding that this involves the redemption of Eros. And what we're going to produce is an interactive process between two people which involves the lessening of friction. Where did we start out the day when we started out with antipathy and sympathy? Friction. Because we have likes and dislikes and we're different and, different and men and women are different from each other and this produces friction. Things don't work together very well. So at the end of the day, we want to overcome that before we go into sleep. And we do this by sharing with each other. You know? And this sharing with each other works from the spirit and soul aspect. And we talk about things. And you don't have to make a big deal of it, you know. There are times when you need to talk a lot and times when you just need to say a few words. And of course the man can sing to the woman. He can admire her and let her know that she's admired. And she can return the same. She can admire him and let him know that he's admired. And they can practice trust. And trust isn't, you know, well, I have my rules, and I'll trust you if you never violate my rules. Trust is that over time, the intentions of this individual are for the betterment of yourself and of himself or herself and yourself. Okay? Trust is a gift. We give it as a gift. We give trust. We don't say, well, you have to earn my trust. We give it as a gift. Okay? And these are profound elements that live in the human being in the sense of the human organism is created to love. Remember? That's the basic idea we're working out from here. And we're using all kinds of spiritual language because <coughs> spiritual language is very useful and practical and down to earth. And rather amazing when we get into it. Okay, so we have the home as the temple of love and we can invite people into our home and we can create situations of love in which people come and share food and camaraderie and get to know each other and all of the things that we already do instinctively and then when the night comes and we go to bed we go into the temple of Eros and we get into the most intimate aspects of it all. I mean, think about it. You take your clothes off, you get naked with another person. Well, you can also take your soul clothes off. That's what confession is about. You take things from inside you and you share them. And it's a mutual thing. You have to do it consciously. You have to have talked about this is what you're going to do. You have to understand that with these ideas and concepts you're taking hold of, of the reality in which you live as a couple. And you're going to redeem the most profound force of love that people can know in this sense of what it's like to live on the earth. And that's the love of the Divine Feminine, the love of the Mother, the Holy Mother. Now, that love is a little bit different from the whole love of the Father, and one can get into all kinds of complicated cases there. But remember, in this segment of my videos, okay, I'm talking about the redemption of Eros, and that's the realm of the Mother. And what's the structure of the Mother? Next. <laughs>